Hello friends, now let's solve the search a 2D matrix 2 problem. Let's see a statement. Write an efficient algorithm that search is for value in an M times N matrix. This matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row has sorted are sorted in ascending from left to right. Integers in each column are sorted in ascending from top to bottom. So um, this question is different from the previous question because the second row doesn't uh, have um, have the uh, larger value than the previous row. It um, this only means that uh, in a specific row, the um, in a specific row, the value uh, is sorted in ascending order and uh, in each column is also sorted in ascending order but uh, there is no relation between the first value in a row and uh, the last value in the previous row so how to solve this question uh, like you you are given an 8 you will know the value in the following uh, in the same column but in the following rows has larger values than 8 and uh, in the same row the following columns have the larger value than 8 uh, the same in the uh, previous columns and the previous rows so if uh, you are giving 8, you want to find a value that is larger than 8, you will go right or go down. So can we just use one direction uh, for this two direction? And for this uh, go up and go left, you want to find a value that is smaller than 8. Can we just uh, take one direction? Like if we get 8, if you want to find a value that is smaller than 8, we just uh, go left. And if it's greater than 8, we just uh, go down. Yes, we can find a special position. Is this place. Like we are first at this 15. If you want to find a value is greater than 15, we will go down. Why? Because in the following, uh, in the previous in the preceding columns, we have the values less than 15. So there is impossible that we can find the value is greater than 15. We will just uh, go down. And we are at uh, 19. And uh, in this place, we will do the same thing to check uh, if we can find a specific target. So if uh, like we want to find the 16, we are first at first, we are at the 15. And as the 16 is greater than 15, so we just go down. And the 16 is less than the 19, we go left. And uh, we are 12. 12 is less than 16, so we just go down. Then we find it. So uh, this is a linear scan. The time complexity should be big O m times uh, plus n. m is the number of the rows and n is the number of the columns. So let's just uh, write the code. We will first do the edge case check if the matrix equal to null or the matrix dot length, uh, matrix dot length equal to zero, we return false. And then we we'll get m, m is a matrix dot length and n is the matrix uh, zero dot length. And we should get the index of this 15. Because if we want to find something greater, we let the current row uh, increment by 1. If we want to find something smaller, we let the call current column decrement by 1. So current row is 0. And the current column is n minus 1, which is the index of the 15. And we should get a valid scope with a column because we just let the current row increment. So 
we should uh, make sure the current row is less than m, and the current column is greater or equal than zero because we only let the current column decrement. Right? We go left. So if the matrix current row current column equal to the target, we have find it. We just return true. And if the matrix current row current column is greater than target, we should uh, find something smaller. We have current column minus minus. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, minus minus. If the matrix current row and the current column is less than the target, we should let we should find something greater. So let the current row plus plus. So otherwise, we just uh, return false. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.